Let me tell you about the proto culture. If you don't know the culture, here's the whole structure. We had enough of the lackluster. to trust us. We get the kind of games you can't win in Blockbuster. Hey, we're back with more of this stupid, awful bullshit that keeps murdering us. And by us, I mean Pliskin. Uh, who's here with me? Say hi. Hi, I'm going to die horribly. And I'm still Judge Drunk. I'm still Caxi. I'm still Willard. And Bob, uh... Fucked off. Bailed. He fucking bailed. Actually, it's okay. we're gonna be bailing out Bob due to an incident involving a trip we uh. on earlier today. Ah. Uh. Well, it's okay. We have Thunder Tits hidden in the back. He yeah. killed our own boss. He killed our old boss. Everybody remembers Thunder Tits, right? Well, she's Prager Tits now. Prager Tits. Thunder Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant with Thunder. <laughs> Dude, that reminds me. Okay, this good segue, because uh, Transformers game. Okay, <laughs> they, they've they revealed uh, the, the full combined mode and the name of the combiner for next year's... Uh, Figure subscription service, Transformers Collectors Club figure subscription service this is, combiner. This is the Hasbro thing. This is it's technically Hasbro. It's endorsed by Hasbro. All it's right. uh, repaints and sometimes slight remolds of official Hasbro products uh, done through a company called Fun Pub. Fun Publication. I've heard of them for the Transformers Collectors Club. And yeah, next year's subscription service uh, is. A full combiner plus like two more. Toys. How much does that cost you? <laughs> it ran me almost three hundred fifty dollars for the for the full subscription. But that's not important. They've just revealed the uh, the full combined mode and the name of the <laughs> combiner. the The cool thing about this one uh, is that it's it's the Decepticon Mayhem Attack Squad. So it's a new, brand new Decepticon combiner, oh. never existed before in any continuity. And it's made of, like, late G1 characters. Uh, Bludgeon, the pretender, who is also a skeleton samurai, is the centerpiece, the torso. Uh, and then there's two double target masters and two, I want to say, trigger cons as, uh, as the limbs. I don't remember all their names. Uh, but combined, the Mayhem Attack Squad, they combined to form Thunder Mayhem. And if that's not the best and most metal name for any Transformer ever, I How don't know what is. It, the full subscription with all six, technically seven toys, uh, ran me right. shipped about three forty-five, three fifty. Oh right shit, there. guys! So, uh, hold on a second. It's about fifty dollars per. Guess toy. what level this is? Well, oh, is this the maze? This oh, is the maze. Fuck. All right, we're gonna take uh, a, we're gonna take a break for like five minutes because uh, I need to. We, we're gonna pause it and look up a walkthrough because shit, this this is ridiculous. It's cray cray. Did, did you seriously just throw him out a window? What for cray cray? Well, he cray cray. So watch me nay nay. Please wow. don't. Only if you watch me whip, <laughs> and then you do the stanky leg, stank. Stay sank. What was that we were just watching last night? It was Mr. Incredible dancing to that song. Doing the actual dance. Mi it was a guy in the full costume. Doing the stanky leg. Doing the whole watch me whip, watch me nay nay dance. Uh, why? And it was the stupidest, most hilarious why? thing I've ever seen. Because you know, I would ask, why is that song popular? But fucking Jurassic World is popular. <laughs> Why do people like shitty things? And why don't they like the right shitty things? Because nude generation. The nude generation? But I like the nude generation. But didn't <laughs> or at Dan... least the pretty ones. The fat nude ones can fuck <laughs> off. Didn't Dan like the movie? Dan loved the movie. Uh, but Dan didn't like Manborg either. That's uh, why he's a terrible person. Rebar liked Jurassic World and didn't like Manborg. <laughs> I have, this, I have this feeling that we know how to judge whether or not you have shit taste in movies. And it's, did you like Jurassic World and not Manborn? What if you like if, both? If you like both, then uh, you're confused, like Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> so if I red box Jurassic World, which I'm probably going to do... You're probably going to hate it. 
because you like Manborg. I love Manborg. It's a great. It's it's, it's, great. it's a super successful We're movie. It's not great. recording, by the way. Huh? Uh, we'll we'll put this in outtakes. <laughs> We're still recording. We're recording what we're... we're yeah, we, we can put this in outtakes somewhere. <laughs> Let's go into the how not to YouTube. <laughs> we need to build up content for that potential panel again. I can't believe it. I know next weekend, I definitely want to go see the new Transporter. I know it's going to be... You mean the be, semi-reboot it's, sequel without Jason Statham? It's going to be awful. It's going to be so bad. There's a full sequence in that trailer where he's like, it's never personal. We've got your dad. They've got my dad. It's time for revenge. Why did what? they just get Jason Statham again? I can only assume the script was so shit that he wouldn't oh, do it. Oh, come on. He will do anything. <laughs> he, he really will. I want to see him in the Marvel Universe. I want to see Jason Statham play Bullseye in, I don't know, maybe not season two because Punisher, but season three, maybe, of Daredevil? Dude, we're getting Punisher and Elektra for season two. Mm. <laughs> I finally just watched it. Oh, isn't it good, though? It's fantastic. I think it's the best. The, the last episode leaves us with a little bit of a dull thud, I thought. When he finally gets the new costume, and you're all ready for him to kick super ass, the the last fight scene seems kind of really stiff and awkward compared to every other fight scene in the whole show. Okay. Like, he's, it's like he has difficulty moving in that costume. Which right. sucks, because everything else was so good. Who, who, who wants to describe this to me? Just, we're going to follow it. We're all right, take our all time. Right. So, three, two, one... Okay, so, first you need to go up. Up? Up. No, we don't. Yes, up. Down. You, that's two moves from here. You uh, go up, and then you go up, and then you go down. Someone else and read this And then you go thing. down. Then you go left, then you go right. <laughs> Seriously, we need to get through this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, down. Just follow the bottom. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do anything. Forward. <laughs> That's wrong. You don't go there. Murder suicide. Okay. So yeah, is this a screen by screen? By the way, I don't know how this works. It's the whole map. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> right? This fucking toadstool lamp. It's a major award. How do you? Know okay. Okay. Uh, on top of this platform. On top of the platform. On top of that platform, yes. Oh, <laughs> I jumped it wrong. How do you <laughs> not have any type of shielding? Because it's Transformers. Because it's the NES. One hit and you're dead. Ah! Oh! Oh! That's what I liked about the Super NES. At least they gave you a light bar. That's ah, when everything started to go downhill. That's when they started those terrible games like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Aha. Uh -huh. Someday we will post that series. <laughs> and then we will have complaints that we skipped shit. <laughs> we'll have so many complaints because we skipped so much of that game. Or just, is it really that bad in retrospect? No, it's a great game. We just kept using level codes because we kept dying. And the level codes were wrong. The level codes would go like every five levels. And we'd try to go back where we were and fail. Oh, uh, God. This, this level is fucking hell. Okay. Yeah. On top of that platform. Okay. I need to get up there first. You really do. <laughs> ah! All right. Boom, headshot. This is going super great. No, but on top, though. Yeah, I know. I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. I see what you did. Yeah, good call. Hopefully, they didn't fuck up the whole thing, but... <laughs> it's easier to deal with one of these fucking mushroom things. There you go. All right, so up Okay, here. now after this, I'll go, go, uh, you go will drop it. to the floor and then go all the way to the top. All the way to the top. 
Oh. Except for, don't do that. Where are you now? Back. How so far? I gotta go over across. Okay, I, yeah, I gotta you gotta go, go on top of this. Okay. Save. Again, we're gonna take our time methodically because <laughs> this is full, full of bullshit. So all right, I got all right. The top. Now, all the way to the top. There's an R on there. I know I have to pick that up. Yeah. All the way top? Alright. All the way top, and then all the way down. All the way down. Like, down, down? Like, yes, ignore him? There. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna ignore him. And, uh, then over that. Uh, just middle? Just, just forward. Yeah. Just middle. So you okay. really, so you have to play this level. Okay. Is this the place where the R is? Yes. There. Don't get fancy. You missed it! I know. And that's what happens. It disappears. But that is important. Don't get fancy. That's... <laughs> okay. See, this is the most difficult part of this map because you can't shoot the back one. There we okay. go. Okay. Now do your thing. There you go. Okay. okay. So, Joe, uh, can you explain what exactly is going on for people that don't know? It's a maze. Yeah. So you have to yeah. follow it, it's the like maze. the maze from Super Mario Bros. the original. Okay, now right. what do I do? Alright, under that platform, bottom here. Okay. And then mid. Mid. So you have to follow the maze exact to beat the level? Apparently. Yes. Mid. And, uh... All the way top? Or bottom? Uh, oh, shit. It keeps going. Um, yeah, keep going mid. Mid? Okay. And, uh, down the bottom, then all the way top. Da -da -da -da. You're down at the bottom, okay. now all the way all top. All the way top, okay. Yeah. Wow, this is a longer level than I thought. Again, this, this, it's yeah. full of bullshit. You're supposed to memorize this. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh mid here. Completely. Uh, you start the level over. That's bullshit. Still mid? Still mid. Uh, and you'll get up to the top from here. Okay. At the end of this platform, you will go mid and just stay mid. Okay. Oh, fuck! That's alright. So, all the way top. All the way top. Alright, save it right here. And then mid all the way. And then mid all the way. No, oh, Jesus. There, there we it. go. Now you're fighting Megatron. This must be the last level. Because when else would you fight Megatron? No, this isn't the last level. Why are you fighting Megatron now? Oh, this jump button's so sticky. What did you do to your jump button? I think I've just been, like, gripping this controller so hard because this game is difficult. You're jump buttoning. Excessively. See, it was supposed to jump there and it didn't. I wonder how many people just gave up on the maze level. Oh, several. <laughs> Se several. Between one and six. And mean no one else played this game, or everyone else was fine. I, it, I don't know. It's one of those two options. Could you imagine playing this in the '80s as a child without the without the internet to tell you that that was amazing? Oh. I was like, why can't I finish this level? It keeps going. But then again, I mean, that's that's what they did in Japan. What was it M Mylan's Castle? The whole thing was weird bullshit like that. Ah. And for some reason in Japan, 
that was not frustrating to them. That was fun. In, that was fun for them. Uh, Castlevania too, with like crouch in this corner and play this flute, and a tornado will come and take you to the next part of the game. It never tells you that anywhere in the fucking game. You're just supposed to kind of know it. Well, it's very cryptic. The message itself is super cryptic. The message itself makes no sense. Alright, we're gonna save it right here. In the middle of the boss fight. Well, it's because I was relatively safe. Ah. Oh, I, I, I hear you hit every now and then. Yeah, getting getting hits in. Oh, oh I shouldn't have jumped there. It just it's all about patterns for these bosses. Ah, oh, except for when you fall <laughs> off the fucking edge. I think now they have randomizers. Oh, I got. Which one forward. were they? I remember the headmasters, and I remember the trigger cons, and I remember the. Stop jumping! Flip I know. Changers. Which ones were the randomizers? No, but I meant like, um, you know, they can make this would all be random now. There would be no pattern. Okay, so I gotta <laughs> jump back on that one. People bitch about games now. This is when. This one it took dedication. This is uh, ridiculous. The uh, er, Dark Souls is hard. Fuck you. Ah, I jumped right. Shouldn't, shouldn't have. <laughs> Could not have been timed better. Ah! Oh! Yeah, this game is hard. Like, Dark Souls is hard, but this game is... Oh my god, you guys Bloodborne, though. No. Fucking anything on the NES. <sighs> and half the game is on the Super NES. I can recommend a restaurant in China. Eat all the dick you can afford. Well, the first time that you saw a N64 controller. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the N64 Oh, well, so did I, but it worked. It I hated worked. the GameCube pad. Guys. I still hate the GameCube pad. Yay, you killed Megatron. Stage 10. But great. Let's see if it'll Joe stick. Drunk, the first time that you saw that in 1995 or 96, whenever the hell that thing came out, and you looked at it and you're like, I was like, how? I don't have three hands, but I saw it in a magazine. Oh, you're supposed to go up? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I don't have three hands, but I saw it in a magazine, and it it came with an article about, like, hey, here's how you're supposed to use this controller. And I was like, that's awesome. I really like that. So even before I had held one, I was behind the idea. See, I didn't, I didn't read that article. So the first time I got it, it's like, and then... I played the first Rogue Squadron game on it, and I'm like, that middle controller with the analog stick gave you so much control. Oh yeah. Over over the over over like your crap. Over everything, man. Yeah. I Mario mean, 64. Oh. Analog control is a revolution. That control, you know, it really gave you a different ah. perspective on how to on how to game. Yeah. Because <laughs> motion control remains a stupid gimmick, but analog control stuck. Yeah.